Hey everyone, HF Masters here, and today we are doing a review on the LEGO Ninjago movie, Garma Mecha Man set. This set retails for $59.99 in the United States, and it comes with 747 pieces. This set is also a retail exclusive to Target if you live in the United States. On the front of the box you can see this set comes with four figures along with just a cool little action pose of the Garma Mecha Man. On the back of the box you can see some of the features and another cool little pose with Lloyd using the ultimate weapon. My first impression on the Garma Mecha Man is, wow, this thing is huge. Building it, you know, I didn't actually really understand how big this was, but the complete model, it's just crazy impressive. I first want to start off with the legs. First off, the legs do not have knee articulation, sadly. However, they can move up and down and side to side, which is, you know, it's solid. Also, the feet on the legs have a tendency to go back a little bit, however, it does stabilize itself, it does not fall over, so it's not really much of an issue. Also, I do want to put, point out that on the toes, there is two stickers that say nine, so this has got to have some sort of resemblance or some like number significance meaning or something. But other than that, there's not really too much going on with the legs. Looking at the body, you can see there's multiple things going on here. First off, we have the cockpit, which you can open up very easily, and you can see the inside. And Garmadon does go inside there. You can also see that there is a uh, nice little sticker there, which just kind of, it's, it's kind of like the controls for the Garma Mecha Man. I also want to mention that for some reason they decided it would be a good idea to have these golden like pieces just kind of there. I don't know why they did that. It's just, it's so bad. It doesn't work with the color scheme at all. It sticks out really badly. They should have done it in like gray or something. I don't know why they chose gold. They, I think literally in the set we get that exact same piece in black and gray. So I don't know why they chose gold. But I mean, other than that, there isn't really too many complaints. And then of course, looking at this top section, I just love it. It's so great. You can move this little kind of like piece around. It's on a mixel ball joint, so you can move it around. And then it does open up as well. However, if you lean the Garma Mecha Man back a little bit, it can actually fall down. So just be a little bit careful with that. But um. I just think it's a fantastic build. The backside of the Garma Mecha Man also really impressed me. First off, there are these fish pieces which they used which are actually supposed to be sharks, however they have been downscaled to be fish. And there's just this small little tank which you can open up very easily. And you also have a do not feed sticker which is kind of interesting. Also, I do want to mention on the legs, I did not mention this in the legs section, but at, on the back you have these propellers here, just a small little detail, which is, again, very much appreciated. And then another thing is, I'm surprised with how many stickers they actually put on the back of the uh, Garma Mecha Man. It's quite surprising that they decided to put so much attention to the back of the set. Even though it's nowhere near as nice looking as the front, it's still really great that they're doing at least some detailing with the back. I've really got to appreciate that. Alright, this is the shark arm. And first of all, yes, these are stickers here. Sadly, just whatever. I mean, still nice solid um, little arm. The, the red on this is supposed to represent eyes for the shark along with you know just a cool little blaster here which you can shoot it's a spring-loaded shooter so all you do is just push down and it fires out you know I'm kind of a scrub so I, I, I don't really know how to do these it does come with an extra one though which is nice and um, also just want to point out 
the ammunition belt here, the, the shark ammunition belt or the fish ammunition belt, it does not limit anything at all here. You have all the range you could possibly want. And I really like how that just doesn't limit the, the whole range of this arm. It can go all the way backwards, it can go, you know, side, side, it can go forward, and I think that they've done a really good job with that. The Garma Mecha Man's other arm is quite a simplistic arm, not really too much going on here. However, there are a few fingers, one of which is actually on a mixel ball joint, and the others are just connected by two pins. And what you can actually do is you can hold the ultimate weapon, which is just a simple laser pointer. Very simple, it's just a nice little small build, and all you do is that you just move the fingers around just to hold it. There is no specific place to put the ultimate weapon. There is no like connection points or anything. Um, it's not like on the back. On the back, there is a connection point where you can put stuff there. This does not have it. You just move the uh, fingers together, and it holds the ultimate weapon, which it works out pretty well. I, I can't complain about it. It works fine, so there's nothing to complain. And this does have again the standard amount of you know articulation, just like the other arm. This set comes with four minifigures being Lloyd, Garmadon, Pat, and Great White. Personally, my favorite out of these figures has to be Garmadon. I just really like how he turned out. Just really nice printing on him. I think actually all of these figures does have some nice printing. Lloyd specifically has some arm printing, which is new. And Lloyd is also the only one to have um, a different face on the back. But really, not too much going on there. I mean, he does have a sword. Pat has a camera, which is nice to see. Also, just nice to have a civilian figure. And of course, Great White, very simplistic. Just one of the shark army warriors. And he just has a fish spear type weapon. Overall, the Garma Mecha Man is a very solid set. There are a few small little things that you can't really do with this. For example, the ultimate weapon, you actually have to just close all the fingers together. And for putting Garmadon in, his four swords you cannot actually put in. However, there are some good features like the clips on the back where you can store the ultimate weapon or the sword or even one of the uh, extra ammunition pieces that the set comes with. Overall, I have to say, for a $60 set though, very solid. The piece count is great. Uh, I mean, there are some stickers, and if you don't like stickers, this probably isn't going to be a good set for you, however, I really don't think any of the Ninjago movie sets are really that great if you don't like stickers. But in my opinion, I think this set is definitely worth it. A very solid set for the Ninjago movie line, and I think overall, this is definitely a solid LEGO mech. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and stay tuned for some more LEGO Ninjago movie reviews coming soon. Until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.